with these temperatures soaring across the country and here in central North Carolina, as Wes just mentioned, people are searching for ways to stay cool. Air conditioning companies work late into the night to make some vital repairs, while ice cream shops, of course, are staying busy just to help people kind of cool off. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live in Raleigh for us tonight with that. Maggie. Rod, it's 11 o'clock and it is still steamy out here. I'm pulling up the CBS 17 News app. You can see in Raleigh, it's 83 degrees right now. Look at tomorrow, 100. And that means it is a busy time for businesses that bank on keeping people cool. The moment you step outside, it hits you. It's so incredibly hot. The soaring temperatures are driving hundreds of people to fresh local ice cream. It was pretty crazy the last few days. We're out of a lot of things right now because we couldn't keep up with the flavors. But there's still plenty to go around for customers looking to lower their temperature with a sweet treat. Uh, I don't have AC in my car, so it's a good way to cool off. For people without air conditioning in their homes, the situation requires more than ice cream. The unit was not running. No air conditioning to the house. That's where Jeff Clark comes in. The service technician with Comfort Monster Heating and Air spent the evening getting this AC back in working order. Air conditioning used to be a luxury, and it has turned into a necessity for a lot of people. On days like this, he knows the heat can be a health concern. It's 100 degrees out here. It might be 80, 90 degrees in the house. We try to take care of any you know any elderly people that have you know medical conditions and stuff we try to make those guys have precedence supply chain shortages can make some parts hard to come by fan motors evaporator coils um, com and compressors i think those are our hardest things to get right now fortunately he had what he needed for this job but he knows with summer just starting to heat up business will get busier the demands going up for everyone who works to keep people cool we'll definitely have a lot more people coming in it's going to be even hotter tomorrow so definitely a good time for some ice cream definitely a good time for ice cream now if you have kids in city of raleigh camps tomorrow or any day during the summer staff will be monitoring the weather very closely and they will adjust their plans based on the heat index we're live in raleigh maggie newland cbs 17 news i would say any day is a good day for some ice cream maggie all right thank you very much